All right, all right, all right, and here we are. Welcome everybody to another SWTOR video. We are gonna go back and play on my Jedi Knight today. Uh, I sorry I have been a little, little lacking on my videos this past couple of weeks. Just been been dealing with some stuff, but nothing major, nothing crazy. Just been dealing with some stuff. Um, I actually won a contest uh, as well for SWTOR. Uh, where I, where SWT or Artista was actually running a contest for people to get to level 50 uh, for their characters on the APAC server, and I, you know, I created a few on there and decided to get one to level 50, and I didn't win that. Um, so, so I was happy about that. I spent a little time with that, but I didn't stream that. Uh, but here I want to stream this, and the reason why is because uh, we do have the new Galactic Seasons, and on my on my Jedi Knight, you can see I was doing it a little bit this week, so I'm pretty good on my Galactic Seasons, but I'll tell you some of the stuff I is like Kithral, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, SDO in the first, I could potentially do that, so I might just pop into that over the weekend if I can. Um, obtaining Dark Spores, we can do that, okay. Complete Flashpoints, I'm not going to be touching this one right now, uh, though I probably could at least do one of them, uh, but I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to be doing them uh, for now. I'm almost there on the March Across the Galaxy. Uh, I'm almost there on the 15 Complete Jedi Missions of Jedi Knight or Sith Warrior. Um, this is the one that I want to do, because complete repeatable explore, exploration or bonus missions while defeating enemies across CZ-198, Ilum, Iokath, or Zakul. And the good part about this is Ilum is the next part of my story. I looked at it and I thought it was the Black Hole was the next part of the story, but it actually goes Ilum and then the Black Hole. So I am going to be going to Ilum next, and that is exactly what I wanted to pull off on here. I think I have this on my mission list somewhere. Uh, we got the Seeking Artifacts, which I won't be doing. And then we got this uh, Complete Missions of Jedi Council or Sith Inquisitor, 15 of them. So I'll probably be playing this weekend on my Sith Inquisitor as well, because I can get 15 missions done on her. And that'll, be, that'll get me on there on my um, Galactic Seasons as well. And then we got, you know, this this is a normal, right, that's the thing. We're not going to be doing that either. So we're at about level 80, we're at level 83 right now. I definitely won't be won't be finishing this this week. But we have about, what, 46 days. So we have a little more than a month to go. And it'll definitely be a a good time for a month so, uh, for a, for a um, time for me to finish this. It'll go very quickly. I do notice it is a little bit laggy since they did the update. Uh, I don't know know what the story is with that they said there were some graphical enhancements i'm not seeing the graphical enhancements anywhere i've been thinking about moving the graphical enhance see if i can move the graphical enhancements back because i'm looking at this and saying well maybe i can come back to this but i don't see any anything that's changed on here so i'm wondering what might have happened see graphic graphics quality preset is low medium high so you got all that and i'm not really too fan of that it's kind of doing I don't know if maybe that has something to do with it. I might have to play around with my graphical enhancements somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to go to my mission list. Let's find my mission list somewhere. I definitely know I have somewhere on my mission log for Ilum. So here we go. We're going to go to Crystal Ball because that's the next mission. Okay. So we're going to speak to this lieutenant, whatever this guy is, Lieutenant Hala. And we're going to go listen to him. And we're going to go over to Ilum. And let me see. Who who do I have on my on my team that's really... That's quite interesting. That I really should be paying attention. I do like Kira. Uh, T7 is useful later on, though. So we're gonna. I like Shiva. So let's keep going with uh, with T7 for now. Okay. Save some for me. All right. So we're gonna go talk to this guy now. I think this is also. This is a whole net, and I think this also gives you. Oh, oh no. I don't want to click on it. Breaking news from the core. Okay. I don't want to click on that. Give me one second. I did not want to click on it. All right. Let me talk to the Stark Story Arc, the Illum guy. Wantahumpa. Muri rava fupa jibampa wula. Kabano tase makipuna. Mali tuta odmishka. Chikospa ini gudad iji gliska chanagawa. I'm Supreme Commander Rands of the Republic. It's an honor to speak with someone who's done so much to help the cause. By defeating the Emperor, you've dealt a crippling blow to his followers. You single-handedly turned the tide of this war. The Republic already owes you a debt it can never repay. But I'm calling because we need your help again. Give me the mission and I'll get right on it. As a Jedi, I'm sure you're familiar with the ice world of Ilum. It's one of the galaxy's primary sources of lightsaber crystals. The remnants of the Empire's forces have invaded Ilum en masse. We sent reinforcements, but they're getting overwhelmed.
Once I get there, we'll drive the Empire off Ilum. Just like we drove them off Corellia. This mission's different. The Empire's not trying to capture Ilum. This is a raid, and they'll strip the planet bare. The crystals on Ilum are unique, and the Empire has found a way to use them to amplify cloaking systems. With enough crystals, they could build an invisible armada, an entire fleet capable of striking any Republic world without warning. We're leaving for Ilum right now, Commander. Please hurry. The Imperials are led by a man named Darth Arho. He's throwing everything they've got at us. We can't hold out much longer. Report to the Republic space station orbiting Ilum ASAP. A shuttle will take you down to the surface. We're using the Jedi Temple as a makeshift headquarters for our operations. Meet me there and I'll give you a full briefing. Rand's out. Chechopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo. And see, there's something I don't know what this is for. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna click on that hole in it though, because I'm feeling comfortable enough to click on that hole in it, and I don't remember what that's for. It might be for like, um, for one of the other expansions. I thought that was the Ilum hole, uh, hole in that for some reason, but we're gonna, cause it's right next to Ilum. We're gonna leave that alone for now. We're gonna, we're gonna start the Ilum, Darth A, A I call him Darth A. <laughs> you'll see, you'll understand why. <laughs> Call him Dark A Ho, but <laughs> call him Dark A Hole. Okay, so we are gonna go here. I don't think I should probably kick off. Oh, what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything crazy here. I'll give myself some like Valor stuff and things like that just to go through this. It was pretty simple to get through. There might be like one challenging part, but everything else is pretty easy to get through on Ilum. I do enjoy the story on this. I think it takes maybe about two hours to finish the story, so it's not too bad when I'm looking at it. It might be two and a half, but it's not too bad, so maybe I'll get through it all today. I don't know yet. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can get through all this today or not. It's late in the evening right now. So we're going to go to Ilum. We're going to take the galaxy map and get out there. Okay. You should be to travel to Ilum, so we're just going to go ahead and travel to Ilum because that's where we need to go. I'll travel there. And speak to the shuttle pilot. So we're going to speak to the shuttle pilot. And you do, I think you have a a flashpoint that you can do at the end over there too, which the flashpoints, I really like the flashpoint at the end. I think it's called the flash, the false emperor. Um, it's a good flashpoint, especially if you can get people to do it with you. Now, for me, it's not too bad. Alright, dude, we're good there. Force my, I'm going to kick off some stuff here just to give myself some stacking stuff. Stacking stuff. Alright, excellent. Give myself some extra points here for Ilum. False Emperor, and I think there's a battle for Ilum too, if I remember correctly. There's a battle for Ilum flashpoint as well. And I kind of like that one. That one is really easy. It's just a little long, but it's easy. Yeah, so you can come here. You can see there's nothing here. But if you look at it, you got Violent Uprising. So if you want to kick off Violent Uprising, you can. Uh, so, but it's you can see it's a flashpoint, so it's a Directive 7 flashpoint. I'll probably leave that alone for now, okay? We won't touch that until maybe later on, and maybe that's what I'll do later on. I'll get some of those flashpoints out of the way after this. Uh, but we're gonna go here to this Republic Transport Services. Commander Rands is waiting for me at the Jedi Temple. I bet he's not. Darth Arho's troops have taken over the temple. Commander Rands and the others barely made it out alive. Had to set up their command post in an unsecured field. You need to speak to Commander Rands. I can take you there. Get on board and hold tight. It's going to be a bumpy ride. You also have some dailies you can do here, which I think is kind of cool. You can do your dailies here. All right, so you can come around this way or come around this way. You can kind of see it's a little, a little choppy. Ilum, I think, has some lag to it. Not too much, though. I do seem to recall some dailies do unlock later on, so let's take a look to see what we can do. Okay, you got a heroic mission there. This is also a heroic mission, so we're gonna save... I don't... I think I'm gonna save the heroic mission for later. Uh, just because I don't think the heroic mission should be, should be happening right now. 
Okay. I thought there was a guy in here, but I don't remember if there was a guy in here. I don't think there was. Yeah, see, companion customization especially because I don't think there was anything in here. Uh, we'll save the heroic for later, too. I'm not going to do the heroic right now unless somebody wants to do it and group up or somebody wants to group up to do them or something like that. Her this heroic is definitely not easy, hence why I'm kind of leaving it alone. What have you discovered? Supuda no pajunki, faguta ji uta vukise. Mi bunawa, tuipi tute bak batra, wonga wonga. Isn't this something you should be handling yourself? Mi umpi putamala, bedwana nibochi chichupa gumba. Kavachi uta kuga huta nupri, da bumba wula. Naka noya choski, noyo kachuso de mate chichoya. I don't like going behind them like that. Good, you're here. As you can see, we need all the help we can get. Let me introduce our allies. Master Bowden of the Jedi, and Commanders Karawar, Giandar, and Yetjub. <coughs> no, Karawar. The attack on the temple is to distract us from Darth Arho's true goal. Just as the peace talks blinded us before the sacking of Coruscant. If we don't hit them at the temple, then where do we strike? The Imperials want Ilum's crystals. They're using deep miners to drill into the planet's core. The excavations leave massive sinkholes. The entire world's becoming unstable. If we don't stop them, Ilum could literally crack in two. Mem amgap kugap, kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. After you've cleared each mine, call us and we'll send reinforcements in to hold the area. I understand completely. Stopping the deep miners won't end this. Unless we locate the Imperial Command Post, they'll figure out another way to harvest Ilum's crystals. Good idea. After you disable each deep miner, download the mine's terminal data log. Bring all the data to Agent Sam Bradbur at the Communications Center for analysis. The fate of Ilum is in your hands. May the Force be with you. Alright, may the Force be with you. Alright, so we should be able to get a couple missions done here. Uh, this L4 guy... Tell me what happened here. Imache Churon Chica Chiliska Chanaga Piti do Tenya go Kaka Jujo, da Biska Ku Paliya. Your master won't last long in this cold. Chobut e cuffs to an. You have my word. It will be done. Nice. Okay, so that's one. I thought there was another one around here too for some reason. I don't know where it is. And those are what's funny is I as I hear the um <laughs> You hear the data cron around here, 
And I kind of remember where it's at. I just don't want to go do it right now. <laughs> it's kind of sad I don't want to do the Datacron right now. I guess I probably should at some point. It would be nice to get these, some of these Datacrons out of the way, especially some of the easier ones. This was an easy one, if I remember. Okay, so we got a couple things that we can do here. Uh, you can kind of see I just ignored the heroic mission. Might drive me a little nuts that I, that I ignored it. But we're going to come here. We know that we're going to have to go over here. Okay, we also have to go deliver medical supplies to Sergeant Pell. So that'd be the next thing we got to do. Uh, so we got a couple of missions that we just come back and you know try to finish up around the way. Should be pretty simple to finish these up. Now you have to keep in mind that some of these little guys do you do ignore. You don't have to do anything with them. Uh, recover droid transponders though. You definitely. I think you get a bonus mission here too. <laughs> Keep that in mind. I think there's like a. This is the same bonus mission. I don't remember what it is. Ah, it's just a one. It's just a one. Alright. I think I think the mission in itself is a couple of like changes of phases or something. It's fine. You gotta take on like 15 of these guys or whatever the heck they're supposed to be. Just take on as many as you can. It's a pretty easy mission. You just gotta be careful with your with your health. A lot of these missions are very simple. Too. Yeah, the Illum missions I kind of I kind of enjoy. It's kind of actually, you know, I I, I never I was okay with Hoth, but oh, see now I got a personal. Uh, Conquest increase. Oh, that was my. Uh, why did I get a personal Conquest increase? I don't know what that was about. Oh, advancement on my legacy. Oh. 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 This is a lore object. I didn't know there was a lore object over here. Now, these should count as your Jedi Knight missions, I think, at some point. So, this would be fine to get these out of the way as well. I think it's like a two-phase mission or something, or three-phase mission. I forget exactly how it goes. Yeah, my guy's kind of glitching out again. This, this has been happening while well, I've been doing these kind of missions, you know? But like, eh. You know, I can't get I can't get up there. I can't I can't get that guy up there. Alright. Oh, this is gonna get annoying now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been a hot minute since I've done any of this. Nice of you. Dude, don't do that. Sorry. I don't know if that was... You don't have to group up. You get the same things over and over again. You can do the same missions. You can attack the same things. You can do whatever you need to do. I appreciate that. And I'm, the, I'm one of the ones that kind of complains about people not grouping up. <laughs> and here I am not grouping up with the guy. I feel bad though that I don't, but in the same sense, like it doesn't help me out any. I guess it could, but I guess it could help. Me, but... All right. Where, where is this guy? I still think I gotta take out, get one more uh, droid, droid transponder here, so there's gonna be one more left. I can see the guy right in front of me. So I'm gonna go do that. Again, an easy mission to do. Why is this guy taking so long? These are not, these are not difficult NPCs. That's why I'm trying to figure out why this is like such a difficult. 
I will take this guy out because I think that's what's going to make a difference here. And probably the one that's going to drop something for me. So now here, disable the disable the communication dish, which I believe is this over here. I would have thought this guy would have done this already. He was such in a rush to like help me out and bump me. I would do it if it was like a heroic or something. I'd have no problem picking up with somebody. But like a solo mission like this kind of just defeats the purpose. Like, yeah, for me, I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to keep up on anything. So that finishes that. That should. It actually didn't get me another. I ah, I was afraid I was going to do that. It's alright. I was trying to avoid that. I was trying to do it. Try to avoid all that. Sometimes you just can't avoid it. Sometimes it's not avoidable. Yeah. Now we come into here, this is the fun part. That's quite interesting. I thought that would have given me missions as a Jedi Knight. Why didn't that? Yeah, it didn't do anything. Interesting, the bonus mission didn't do anything. Okay. Alright, well, oh, well, this counted though, so that's kind of weird, isn't it? That's kind of weird that it didn't do that. Interesting, I don't know why I didn't do that. Maybe one of these will complete. I'll just I'll just let it go along as we go along. Eventually it's gonna happen. Maybe the bonus missions are counting as like an mission. Maybe that's what it's doing. Maybe it's maybe it's not stacking up. Maybe it's something saying coming back and saying, you know, these are ill missions and these aren't Jedi Knight missions. It's gonna try to finish that first or something. That could be possible. There's one mission on here that I actually don't like too much. I'm gonna see if I get to that today or not, but I remember the mission and I just kinda of like, I don't like this mission. Um, I don't even know. Uh, whatever. I guess I do gotta be careful with what I'm doing and how I'm doing this. Because, yeah, see, I'm not healing as much as I think I should be. I guess T7's doing okay. He's healing me okay. Oh, did he level 50? Oh, yeah, he's gonna say he's level 50. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna say he is level 50. Okay, that's fine. 
it's his influence that I have to worry about. He's not getting the big influence. All right, so we're almost done with another bonus mission here. Let's keep at it. We've got this overseer guy here that's probably going to cause a little bit of a problem, but not too much. guys aren't bad when they're by themselves, like you can take them out pretty quickly. It's when they're worth a big group or something, you have to start worrying about that. Alright. Still got a few guys we can take out here. I just want to make sure I don't get myself into a spot where I'm like fighting off too many of these uh, silver elites. Because that can happen, you know? That can definitely happen. Alright. And eh, we got like four more NPCs. Oh, where does this guy go? I didn't see that guy. <laughs> I didn't see that guy. Where'd he come from? That was a bonus mission done. Very easy to get out of the way. I like how that was quick. I kill him, damaging the Empire. Sweet. out of here. Let's do this as well. Yeah, I should be... I should get some good Galactic Season points pretty quickly along the way here. You can see we're kind of almost done here. We got a couple things to take out, and then we got this little area that we gotta destroy as well. So not too difficult. I'm, I'm kind of like okay with this, you know. Kind of fun. Oh, he did some good damage there. All right, cool. So he did some good damage there. All right, let's go ahead. And let's get this. Let's kick this off. Planting a bomb. All right, and we can slice this relay thing. 
I should take care of this little spot. I've secured the first excavation site and scanned the communications terminal. Well done. We'll send a team to secure the mine while you head to the next one. So we go to the next one. We go to the next area. This is kind of like, uh, I think it's either was it two or three mines. I don't remember how many mines there are in here. But we have to get out of here and we have to basically avoid the NPCs and do all these crazy things. Uh, let me see. How many missions does that give me now? I feel like it's not doing much. Ah, it's not too bad. Okay, so now that actually gave me... It's weird. Gave me one of those missions. It gave me 14 at that point. Uh, okay, so we still got some time to go there as well. Uh, my Illa missions, probably going to have to figure that out in the future. Now you have some Republic reinforcements here, so you shouldn't have any NPCs to take out. But you have to get out of here and scan some more mines. Let's move out of here. Let's go ahead and see how we do. Maybe we should do okay here. I think. I think we should do okay. So we got another one right down here. So you see that one? So it's not that far away. So let's just go down that way. Let's, let's ignore all your NPCs along the way because there's no reason for us to, I think, destroy any of these NPCs out here. I think that mission is kind of done at that point. Now this is basically just on the other side. Try to not kick them off. I don't know if that's possible to do. I get my I do I'm gonna get hit some I don't get hit somewhere along the line. Sometimes it's just not possible, you know? Sometimes it's just like unfortunately you have to take them out. But I guess it's just okay. It can happen. But as you can see they don't count for anything. I guess that maybe that's the only thing you can do if you have something on the conquest. And of course this guy's gonna go this way. And of course I get of course another one kicks off and starts Aggro with me. <laughs> I love it. I love this game sometimes. It's just so fun. That's the advantage of being like. Remember, I said I like I like you know Inquisitors and Shadows and stuff like that. Like I wouldn't be running into this problem. I'd be able to cloak very quickly, and that won't be an issue. Now in this case, you know, I don't really have that kind of cloak, cloaking ability here. But that's alright. You know, it's just, this is what happens. This is why we play the game. Sometimes it's easier to go ahead and do this now. You can see I'm level 80, so it kind of doesn't make any difference to me, you know, about any kind of leveling up on here or anything like that. Um, that's fine. Okay, we're going to come into this this cave now. I'm trying to remember if this is the one I hate or if it's the next one. Now, if we want... Now I'm going to do it if we want here situation. Okay, you still have a lot of archaeology stuff going here. You see the investigation, archaeology, artifice. So I'm going to go ahead and just send people out on missions just to upgrade myself a little bit. Of course. So I just saw one of those archaeology missions, and then I'm going to send them all out here. Hey, you know, you got... They're going to take you maybe about 20, 30 minutes on that. Because I want to get to 700 archaeology and all that good stuff, you know. Open up some of the fun stuff. Is this the one I, I don't like? No, this was okay too. This has like a separate side mission now. She got two separate side missions. Got like basically it's it's a separate side mission of the crates and the any NPCs here. The crates, uh, the NPCs should be easy to find. The crates can be a little bit, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more difficult because you got to find them along the way. Okay, but it shouldn't be too weak. Shouldn't be too bad. As long as you're playing through the, through the cave, you'll be fine. Here we go. Let's play this.
très cliniqué. See, there was one, you saw there was one to the left. I'm only gonna go after the one to the right because there should be enough on here. But if I happen to find a case where, yeah, I probably should take the one to the left, maybe I'll come back and get it. But I don't know right now. See, the NPCs will be easier to take out than finding these little little mining crates or whatever they are. Right, because those, those are, NPCs are really simple to take out. All right, so. They got the high ground, man. Uh, let me get up, I'm not touching them. Okay. Why can't I get up there? There we go. actually have the short uh, method of deep miner down here as well. I think we're going to be... What is that anyway? Oh. I'm sitting there, I was like, what is that? I'm like, why is that like that? You know what? That's probably going to kick off anyway. I'm just thinking if I should continue on down there, if I should, go, if I should look for other things. Uh, Alright, let's, let's, let's move down this way. Sometimes you don't need to do anything. When it doesn't tell you to go through another mine is when I think you can return to wherever you can return to. Which would be easier. Where's my quick travel button go? Oh, it's down there. Like, where do I go? Like, if I need a quick travel button, where is it? It's on the bottom. Grab that. That happens every once in a while where you can't grab something. You're like, why can't I grab that? Wait a minute. Did I destroy something? Oh, I think I missed something. I think I stick up missed something. Give me one second. I gotta go back now. Now I have to go back here because I think I missed destroying something. Or something didn't count. Wow. 
Now I want to go backwards because I felt like something didn't count. Let me just make sure I didn't miss it. Maybe I did miss it, didn't miss it. Maybe I did get it. But I thought there was one piece that I destroyed around here. Ah, see? I did miss an easy one. There's one more. I'm assuming it's probably coming along the way here. Though I can't be certain. Have to be careful what we do. I want to say it was around here somewhere. Probably down there. At least I hope it's down there. Because <laughs> if not down there, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really stuck at that point. Yeah, there's one down there. Oh okay, good. I can see. I mean, there's so many enemies. This is why I really wanted to, like, be, like, a, a counselor or, or, a, or a shadow or, a, 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 you know, an assassin. Because then I can, like, kind of just come up. Well, assassins won't be doing the same mission. The Illum side missions are different for Imperials, I will tell you that much for certain. So, when that does come about, I will at least get you through that. You can see these missions aren't hard. They're equivalent to like the Acrylia missions, and you're not doing much on them. They're all level 50 missions. Okay, you can stop freaking out. Seems like whenever I'm recording is when it's freaking out. Actually, seems like mostly on this server, too. Alright, now we got some challenge complete. I think the challenge that just got completed was the Jedi Knight piece. Yes. Okay, we also got a reward. So we're going to claim the Classic Cartel Mount Pack on here. Let me make sure I have enough room. First of all, yep, we have enough room. Excellent. Okay. We're going to see what classic cartel mount packs we get. So we're going to see what's on there. Sometimes you get something good. Ooh. That's an interesting one. I like that one. I don't look too bad. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how that. Okay. Okay, that's actually an interesting one. I kind of like that one. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Okay. Well, we must keep moving on. Because we still got some ill missions we have to complete. Unfortunately, I do have this over here. This guy is kind of a pain. Uh, I gotta say, wasn't there something you could pull these guys up with? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. That would have been useful to have for a Galactic Seasons thing. <laughs> but, but, nope. That wasn't one of the Galactic Season missions. So I don't even know what legacy am I at. What am I at? 21. What legacy level, level 21. There's plenty of legacy levels to go here. I just kind of wish some of these legacy unlocks were like true unlocks. You know what I'm saying? But that's okay. I don't think I'm going to get my Inquisitor done by the end of this year because there's still only a few, years, a few weeks left. I mean, I really would have to play every single day to get it done. Maybe it might come close. 
so I'm going to see how far, because I'm only about halfway through. I don't even think I'm done with Chapter 1, right? So I think I'm only about at the end of Chapter 1 or something like that. So that's going to be quite interesting before I start Chapter 2. That. Now we got another communication terminal here. I'm hoping this brings me back to the return, but I don't know. Off my off the top of my head. I'm at the last mine. Okay. Everything's all clear. Get that transmission data to Sam Bradbur. He's waiting for you at the Republic Communications Center. Oh, so we gotta go to Sam Bradbur. Alright, cool. That's actually good. That is actually something that I want to do. That's important. I think I can get that done pretty quickly. Um, there's some good missions over there with Sam Bradford and some other folks. So I so this this is kind of like your almost your halfway point in Ilum as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it took about half hour or so, maybe a little bit a little bit more. So not too bad. I'm I'm actually kinda happy happy with that. So I'm just looking to see. We got the minor major valor boost. Do I have anything else that I can kick off here? And then we got the Alright, we're gonna before we even do that, it's another rampage thing for 30 minutes. But we'll kick that off when we're about to go do more missions. So we can actually get that done. So we can go deliver some medical supplies. Supplies. We could kick off some more missions. The ten people on this planet right now, which isn't too bad. Probably people trying to do their galactic seasons right now for Ilum, which is actually a good thing, I think. These are the fun missions. I I, I remember when Ilum came out. There was like a big PvP zone, and and boy, that was just fun. But it was. It was for, and but you know when you wanted like when you wanted some points and whatnot, it was very exposable. Um, you can basically, you know, <laughs> I think you can basically like complete. I think how how did it go? They gave you like some some points for like it was almost like uh, I don't know. I called it, I don't remember if they called it PVP points or something like that. I remember that in the beginning though, and you can finish it like in like a day just being here on Ilum. I don't remember exactly how it went, but I remember when it first came out, like, people were just doing that, and that's all they were doing, and I'm like, yeah, you're done. Like, you did one mission, and you were done with everything. And I guess it got just too exposed, and people came back and said, yeah, no, like, you, we can't be we can't be having that mission like that anymore. So, that's when they introduced, like, the, you know, the whole actual PvP matches and things like that, and it was like, oh, you got, you know, different things. And... You know, uh, your war zones and stuff like that. They started introducing that for PvP instead. But it was like open world PvP, and it was awesome. I remember that. I actually want to see if I could go back to try to remind myself what it was about. Um, but you know, it doesn't happen anymore like that. I think I don't know if they took the I don't know if they took took it completely out, or if they just kind of like made it just like a vis like a visitable zone, and it doesn't trigger off any PvP or anything like that. I forgot exactly what they did with it, but it was it was quite unique. And I did, en I remember I did enjoy it at the time, but there was really nothing to do. Like, this is before they even had, like, any major expansions. Like, Ilum was it. So Stand it was like, you didn't have much on that to go around. Alright, so we can probably take care of that. I will not be doing that. I will not be getting rid of that. And I will not be getting rid of that either. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Okay, so we got two things we can do. We have two people we can return to. I have no mail, so that's important. Though I'll probably get NPC mail later on. So we'll go to Sam Bradbur here. This might open up a couple missions too. Agent Bradbur, I've got the data from all the mine terminals. You Jedi types do good work. Rans was smart to put you on this. Let me contact him while this data's decrypting. Supreme Commander Rans here. Master Bowden is with me too. Do we have the location of the Imperial Command Center? Just got the coordinates. Looks like the orders are coming from a small Imperial base on the ground. SIS scouted it before, but didn't think it was important enough to have priority. Take out that base, and we can end the assault on Ilum. Huh. Doubt Darth Arho's actually there. SIS reports you he likes to stay clear while someone else handles things on the front lines. a -ho. He probably put his personal apprentice in charge. Lord Loriot is every bit as cruel and ruthless as her master. SIS has a file on her. Pretty go to the lightsaber. Killed at least a dozen other Sith during her time on Korriban. Never punished for it. Arho protected Loyette. Their relationship goes deeper than Master and Apprentice. If we capture Loyette, 
Maybe we can use her as leverage against Darth Arho. Darth Arho is consumed by the dark side. He will cast her aside when she ceases to be useful. You can try to arrest her if you think that's best. But I won't miss her if she winds up dead. Once the base is out of commission, report back to Agent Bradbury. Good luck. Nice. Okay. So now we gotta go confront another one. So it's like we're not even doing a mission, which is kind of annoying me a little bit. Now I don't get another mission to open up, but I think they open up later on on here. So let's let's keep moving on. I think you get some missions that open up later on in here. Yeah, you see that over there? So there's definitely nothing here. I thought there was some side missions, but I think when you come back, you get the side missions. Um, I'm going to deliver the medical supplies over here. Since we are here, I think it's a good idea to at least get that out of the way. I remember this a little bit. I don't remember if there's a side quest, like a side, like, oh, you know, you can defeat some, some NPCs along the way. Let me see if that truly is the case or not. I don't recall this too much. But I'm gonna have to get some of these guys out of the way anyway, so. Yeah, see, I thought there was some sort of side quest or something like that where you had to defeat some, like, silver red pieces. See it, though? Let me see what I can avoid and what, can I, what I have to do and can't do here. Okay, let's see what I can avoid. This guy comes down here. See, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking maybe might be here. Let's see if I can get through. Three, this guy's with the spinning strikes, huh? This is like one side mission I was thinking about. It's very neat. I don't think I have to go back. Do I have to go back to anything? I don't think I have to go back to anything. This is a great side mission, though. I like this side mission. Oh my god. Why is my guy freaking out? Stop freaking out, dude. Sergeant Pell, your droid said you were injured. I brought medical supplies. Yeah? Okay. Oh, well, that's another mission out of the way. Okay. So that should be another mission out of the way, too. So let's get out of here. Let's go to this... Uh, go back and do this mission for this uh, Lord Voya. I think that's the one I don't like. I think this is the one I don't like. I don't like this mission for some reason. The rest of the way, I'm okay. But this mission, for whatever reason, I'm just not a fan of. And I think after this, they might open up some, like, some, like, good, like, daily Ilum missions or something. Though I don't remember if I have to do those or if I have to come back and do anything else. I don't recall. It's been a hot minute since I've done anything. You know what? There might be a side mission here. Now that I'm looking at this, there might be a side mission. Why is, my, why is this guy not doing anything? Nope, no side mission. Okay. That's kind of pointless, too. I think there's another... Yeah, you know what the, the one I'm thinking of? There's a mission here that you basically... You destroy these... Uh, I think you destroy these little... Like, you see those ships out there? I think you destroy the ships around the area over here. There's another mission out here. So, yeah. I keep thinking of the side missions. And the side missions I'm not even close to doing. Uh, but that's okay. We'll take these guys out anyway. I think all that opens up after you're done with, like, the whole... Ilm arc almost, kind of. Okay, dude, stop. I don't know what is it with this, with this, like, usually it's when I'm recording or live streaming, it's like not working the way it should. I haven't even attempted to live stream. You know, I should do that one day. I should attempt to live stream and see if that would, that would make any sort of difference instead of doing recording. I'd love to see if I can do that. Normally when I do that kind of live stream, I kind of, kind of used to do it. I've been doing it on Wish, but I might do try it on YouTube. 
instead and see if, you know, that's what I've been doing my normal live streams anyway. So I'd like to do it on mobile, but. Because you guys have been following this adventure, you do know I have to do it there. Okay, why am I getting beat up here? Why is T7 not healing me? Dude, you should be healing me, T7. Yeah, this is the mission I don't remember, I don't like it much. Yep, this is the one I'm thinking about. T7, this, should, this shouldn't be too difficult, T7. Let's go. Oh, because he's getting that. He's getting shocked like that. Okay. Time Fair to enough. celebrate. Old Nico hit the jackpot. Good job, Nico. <laughs> Good job, Nico, but it's also killing me. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to do you don't have to take these you don't have to take these random NPCs out over here. Um, though I might suggest doing that just to clear out an area. That's usually what I would say to do. But once you take out this, you know, Lord Wyatt, you're kind of in a good spot. You see those, see those uh, apprentice and commanders. That's what I'm worried about. When they're sitting there together like that, so I'm gonna try to avoid them. Though it may not be possible to avoid them yet. Let's see what I can do. So I'm gonna try going this way. Because these guys are... Uh, well, I kicked them off anyway, so I might as well. Come on. Another one there. Try not to kick it off until you absolutely do something about it. Hopefully you can avoid whatever you can avoid here. Now you will have a strong NPC to take on with this Lord Wyatt. I'm having a hard time here. Talk to Darth Arho, or Darth Ao, and Lord Loyat. It's over, Lord Loyat. So, Rans has sent the great champion of the Jedi to challenge me. Your martial skills are legendary, but you will not succeed here. Maybe. You have no idea what torment you are about to suffer. I am Darth Arho's personal apprentice. Those who hear my master's name tremble in fear. Your master's not that special. The galaxy's full of brutal thugs. You know nothing of my Darth Arho. He embodies all the Dark Council represents. His wrath is legendary. Master, hurry to my side. Together we will destroy these Republic fools. Darth Arho, can you hear me? <laughs> it is I, Lord Loyat. Master, are you there? Your master isn't coming. It's just you and me, and you can't win this battle. Drop your weapons, and I promise you'll be treated fairly. Aho may have abandoned me, but I still command the power of the dark side. Ah. Alright, let's, let's pull this floor over here. Shouldn't have to be too difficult, from what I recall. We might have a couple things, though, that I have to... You know, she got a couple of the NPCs, though. So. On her, so you gotta take out those NPCs first, if I recall correctly. Probably a good idea to just get them out of the way. Okay. And then at this point, cool. Oh, well, why do they all kick off, dude? You idiot, T7. T7, you're an idiot. Ah. I gotta, I gotta take these guys out. 
Remember I used to say T7's got a mind of his own? Well, that's exactly what just happened here. T7's got a mind of his own. Congratulations, T7. You almost cost me the mission. I'm like, he just had a mind of his own. He just, he just, he just, I started attacking things. Once we get these guys out of the way, we can come back and just call this uh, success. All right, great. Wonderful. We'll talk to Lord Wyatt here. I yield! I yield! And we can kill her or we can arrest her. In this case, we'll arrest her. Secure. I need a squad to take Lord Loyat into custody. But Darth Aho always claimed that Darkseid was stronger than the light. He swore the Empire would always triumph over the Republic. He lied to me. He used me. And then he betrayed me. I am nothing but a fool. Now you see the truth. You still have to pay for your crimes against the Republic, but it's not too late to choose a different path. Thank you. Your words give me comfort. Something I have not felt in a long, long time. Take her into custody. I need to get back. Agent Bradbury is waiting for me. Now, I have to avoid all this because it will, it could still do, you know, why, why don't we just do this instead? We can still return to Sam Bradford, so we can do this right here. Boom. Done. Duh. Yeah, you see this? This this, is your, this was your old PvP zone. <laughs> so, so if you never visited it, you could visit it. There's nothing much to do there. There was always a fun time, I think. Alright. We can at least, you know, kick off the... Stand by for examination and suggested progress. Uh, uh, cool. You are fit for duty. That as well. Your post. So we're doing okay here for now. And then we can come back and report to Sam Bradbury, who's going to tell us, go do this now. We're going to strike them by doing this, but... We're getting there with the ill missions too. Take whatever you can carry. Wipe everything else clean. Let's go. We're mobile in five minutes. What's going on? Our host troops just raided our command post. Massive casualties on both sides. Our boys drove them off, but the imps captured Supreme Commander Rands. Gian Dars ordered everyone back to the command post. I need to get back to the base. Grab your gear and head back. Gian and the others will want to speak with you. We'll be right behind you. Okay. Nice. Excellent. So we go back to Gian here. And we'll come back to the base. But I don't know. I don't recall if this opens up new missions. So it does open up some new missions. You see some new missions here? So we have some new missions here. So let's do that first before we do anything. Ah! Can I do that? I'm gonna kick him off just to be on safe side. Maybe now's the time to take a stand. Togawata kiko uva kiriwata buki donko. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya. Nam kanoya choski nawi. Why don't you let me deal with this? Okabi no bota yoka to crispa. Ni at ambumpa boshura mokili moklanki. Chonki faguta chiho poda ji oto vokise. There's one thing we can do. I thought there was another one up here. Why do I think there was another one up here? I don't see it though. So I'm not 100% sure. So I gotta be careful there. Alright. 
Chaskruni to Pat Kurira to Kanki Kung. Sounds like a real pleasant crowd. Bagthra Wanawaga bi Bunawa Dwe Dwipe. Chikos ba ini kudad iji liska chanagawa. Uchusa yo mata chitoya asubwi mota uipa. I'm always happy to work on my lightsaber techniques. Chechopa kuma ni umbi put malia petwana ni bobo. Piti do tenya go kaka jujo. Da biska ku paliya. Cool. So we got more stuff there we can do. So I think that should do it on that one. I don't think there's anything else until later on. We do have some of those, you know, um, situations that yes, we come out that way. So I'm gonna just go back. I'm just gonna go back to the camp base because I'm not sure if that's the same spot I have to go to or not. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to this a little bit later. We're gonna go to the camp speeder here for now. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. Am I done with all my crew skill missions? Do I have more I can kick off? Ah, uh, yeah, maybe one more with Doc. So let's let's give Doc the six minutes there. Might as well give him six minutes. Uh, let me see. Where am I with my Galactic Seasons on this mission as well? I think that you only have... Mm, let me see. You still got a couple more. You got four more I got to do. Okay, cool. I hey, so I got still some more of those seeds as well to do as well. So, we'll take that out of the way. We'll take that out of the way. We'll take that out of the way. I feel like picking up the heroic mission just to get it out of the way. Um, I'm still a little reluctant on it, but let's see if I can do it. I'm going to come into here and at least kick these missions off. storm the temple, Darth Ahu might kill the Supreme Commander. We lost Commander Jubb in the attack, and can't afford to lose Rans too. Mem amgap kugap, and kramanik, umka kiga mayamak. Arho will be guarding against a direct assault, but I could sneak into the temple without him knowing. <laughs> Smashing your head against a problem isn't the only way to solve it. Sometimes you need a plan. Alam Giga Akapa. Greetings, Republic Commanders. My name is Darth Maldus. Time is short, so I will be blunt. I've been providing Supreme Commander Rand's information to help him defeat Darth Aho. I'm here to offer you the same. Let me guess. Arho's one of your main rivals within the Empire, so you're using the Republic to eliminate him? More or less. The war is over. The Republic won. If we keep fighting, you will destroy us. I accept this. Dark Arho does not. He's a member of the Dark Council, but he's a thug. The Council needs someone more... progressive. If the Empire hopes to survive. Someone like you, I suppose. Openly opposing Arho would draw the wrath of the Dark Council. But by helping you eliminate him, we both get what we want. Tell us how you're going to help. Aho suspects Rans is working with someone on the Imperial side. 
Obviously, I'm eager to keep my role in all this quiet. They're holding your Supreme Commander in a secret POW camp. Droid defended security towers ring the perimeter. Any breach will trigger the alarm. I'm transmitting the location of the camp and the codes to disable the tower alarms. Use them as you see fit. This could be a trap, but I think it's worth the risk. We can trust Malgus for one reason. He's acting out of self-interest. He hates Darth Arho more than he hates us. Um nuk inu nem nu, am ka aka mem perlak palak. Alright, I'm tempted to just just do the heroic mission, but just a, or just at least to have it in my mission list for now. Just as we have it. Alright, consider it done. Oh, Granny Tampio da Pushi Wumpa. Pu to la musta. Pampa wula ji ota kakoga huta no pisto. Anyway, this might be one of the worst heroic missions <laughs> you can do. So I'm kind of just, I'm just putting it in there just to have it, you know? That's the whole thing that I'm doing here. I don't necessarily need it. Ah, you see that? Yes, that's, this is the, this is a heroic mission here. I'm not touching that. This is the other spot that we gotta go down there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just go down there for now and do the other mission first. I'm not touching a heroic mission for now just because I know it's such a pain. And if I do it now, it's not gonna be a friendly mission, to say the least. Okay, how many missions am I? How many? What am I at now with my ill missions? I should be there soon. It's four of eight still. Interesting. I thought it'd be more than that. Okay, that's okay. We got some of these tower things we got to disable. I think that you, that you might have to do this across different, different, uh... You get through, I think you get this takes you to different areas. I don't remember what areas they are, though. But I think there are different areas. There might be a bonus mission here. I don't remember. Let's see. Let's see if there's a bonus mission. We're going to have to take them off anyway, so... Then again, it might not be there, but yeah, I thought there was oh, a stage bonus mission. Ah, this is what I was thinking about. Okay. So we can kick off more of these if we want, but I'm gonna. Hold on. Okay, so I gotta do the next thing too. I forgot to kick this off as well. Uh, so we'll do this rampage as well, since we forgot about that. Okay, we're going to kick off some more of these. And we'll get some more archaeology things going on. Right on it. I'd bash. like to get to level on 700 it. on my archaeology before I move on to my investigation. Sure. I haven't even touched my artifice, which is really sad. Um, Ready weapon on it. Ah, see? Yeah, see, I don't, have, I don't have more, so... Okay, that's okay. I just accepted it. I didn't do anything. Okay, here. That guy, I think, just disappeared on me. Oh, so. I thought that's what that was. I'm like, did he just disappear on me, or am I just, like, losing my mind here? I thought that was a disappearing act. 
Okay, I really want to make sure that I take out as much as possible here. Because I do have this feeling that this is a pretty big mission. And this, like, little area is, like, this three-stage area is not that easy, if I remember correctly. I don't want to take out the wolves. Wolves are mean, but when they, when they do that, I'd rather just go... Why is that not accepting? What's going on here? Why is this not accepting? Okay, hold on. Something's not, something's not working right now. Something's definitely not working right now. Let me, let, me, let me take care of this. Okay, let me see if I can do this now. There we go. I was like, it wasn't working for some reason. I don't know why it wasn't working. Okay. Let's move over here. Let's get this out of the way. Let's kick off some of these. Okay, that's fine. We gotta get some of these done anyway. This, this bonus mission is actually kind of a pain to do. Um, because it's like a three three phase bonus mission, and I'm not too sure much of a fan of it of the phases on here. You'll understand what I'm talking about here in a minute. The why I'm gonna say this. Where is this thing? This turret? Where's the sensor turret? Where's the, turret? Where's the sensor? You see those? Uh, Finding what I need. I don't know why. It's other prison turrets that I have to take out. Though I think they, that might be part of a bonus mission, but I don't. Is it over here? Is it this side? Why can't I find this? Ah, it's right here. There you go. Cool. I was wondering why I couldn't find it. I'm like, it's right there. We're gonna move to the center. We still have that 12. Come on. Why is my guy, like, acting all wacky? I don't need a wackiness right now. Right, we're going to move through, through this area. So these are some of the forces we have to take out. This is like not too bad, but when they respawn quickly, it makes it a little bit more difficult for the mission in itself. So, alright, so we know prison rides there. Now I gotta see what my stage two is. I don't recall what my stage two is. Okay, so you have one there. So you have three of them you gotta release. So you got one over here. I'm gonna release this guy. I think you have to fight them. I don't remember. Hope you don't have to fight them. Cool. Oh, they're awesome. I love these things. <laughs> I love them. They're so cool. I like them. There's one down there. Wait, I like that guy. Yeah, this 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 mission, this part of the mission, is when things really start acting like a little wacky and I'm kind of like a little off by it. Let's move on, make sure we can get everything you can get over here. I would probably just go up this way and fight through this, just to fight through it, just because. Do I have another one around here? Where is it? I just saw it. I don't know where it is. Hey, yes. You gotta release three of them, so. You might be able to wait till one just respawns or something, or you can just kind of search around for them. What I'm gonna do here. Of course that was gonna happen. Why wouldn't that happen? Oh no. Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Okay, this made things difficult now. I just made my life I just made my life life difficult with this. Okay. Fair enough. That's my own stupidity for doing this. See if I can get them done here. Let's try 
trying to avoid it, but it's okay. Eh, you know these things. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy over here. Because there's one over here I can grab. So I'm trying to get out of the way. There's another one over here. I might be able to sneak through this and see if I can get... Uh, you know? Maybe not. Ah, it's not too bad. The good news is that I will... These guys are really simple. I don't have to defeat them or anything like that. So I'm kind of glad I don't have to defeat them. It's just release them. So there's your prison riot done here. And there's another thing over here for bonus. You see this guy? This is a, this is the reason why this part is out. Oh, it'd be cool if he helped. Ah, oh, he's helping me. Oh, cool. He's helping me. I love it. I love the fact that the guy's helping me. That is so awesome. I love that. Oh, I love that. That was so cool. I absolutely love that. Okay, obtain prison access code. I think that prison access code now comes into into play when you start going down here. Uh, so we're going to come down here. So we got to find a Supreme Commander. We have to obtain a prison access code. So you'll see what I'm talking about. This area is a little bit... Isn't too bad. But again, you'll have to be very careful coming around this way. So let's just take out this prison warden first. Sometimes you'll find a prison access code before you even get down there. Okay, so if you can do that, that'll help you out tremendously. Not always the best thing, but you can still get around to it. Sometimes you can find it, sometimes it won't work, sometimes it will work. So this is a little tricky part here too, because now you have a lot of guys here and you might run into a situation where you can't get the prison access code, but I think that I think at one point I found it like right up here and I'm like, alright, well that made things a little bit easier. But you'll have to be careful around this area. And now you go to find Supreme Commander Rands, who's down here. Again, somebody else is helping the Empire. Whatever. Help the Empire. Ah, see, I did find it. See? See what I was saying? So I think that would just come down into here and you end up, uh... Yeah. Alright, release Republic prisoners. I think that's the last step on this one. So you're going to have to come down here anyway. And you can kind of see it. This is the Republic prisoner right here. So that's your final step. I think it's just kind of like a gold NPC over there or something like that. And you find Capri Supreme Commander Rance around this area too. So this is kind of fun, you know. It's not too bad. But again, it's a little bit, a little bit cumbersome to get through this. Over here, that's you can see it's gonna be up right up there. I think there's another prison warden up there or something. So let's go grab that. Okay, can kind of make that work, I guess. 
You can see. It's not too difficult. It's kind of easy. Now I gotta make sure that I clear these guys out because I think you might get another NPC that comes out. You see that? You see these guys over here? So you might end up getting into a little bit of a fight over there. I think. I don't recall it though. Now you see this guy, where did he come from? He comes from over here. Let him come at you over here. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to, you know, you don't want to trigger off all the rest of the NPCs. Then from here you should be able to take him out. Because if I would have went right at him, I would have cleared out all the I, I thought it was the other side, but apparently it's this side. But if I would have went that way, it would have been really bad. So that's another ill mission that should be taking here. Then you don't have to worry about the rest of them. You can go find this Commander Rams. 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 Whatever. Nice. And I think we completed those uh, wild space missions too. So we got another, another objective there. So the only thing I really got to do now is the 200k personal conquest points more dark spores so we can go do that as well hopefully we get some more dark spores along the way all right let's get let's, let's pick up the reward though the 3v il is a reward over there we're almost at level 85 i think we should be able to get to level 85 by the end of this weekend i'll probably i might stream a little bit or record maybe saturday morning i'm thinking or maybe some a sunday morning one of those two days we'll definitely see it uh, Sunday's a rainy day, so I might do a Sunday. They're anticipating a lot of rain. Um, just trying to figure out how this is going to work, though. Alright, so here we go. Here's more Darth Arho. And here's a minion of pain. Oh, boy. I know you're working with someone inside the Empire. Give me the traitor's name. Sorry. I'm not too good with names. I remember faces. Maybe if you show me some hologram... There are nine levels of pain we can inflict. That was level three. Remember it before your next answer. Let's see if you have the guts to stand up to someone who can fight back. Ah, the hypocritical code of the Jedi Knight. You condemn our tactics, yet you took the life of my apprentice. And for that, you must suffer. You abandoned her when she called on you for help. She had to prove herself. She knew the price of failure. Now you will earn the price of defying me. Destroy him. Let Loyat's defeat be avenged by his screams of torment. Okay, so I got some minions of pains, and I got some torturers, and I got some other guys here. Pretty easy when you get there, right? You're like, oh, I just got here. But I, do I have to defend? I think I have to defend once this all comes to This is the one that I have to defend all the, um... I remember there's like a big wave of enemies that comes through or something like that. I think this is the one where a big wave of enemies comes through and I have to defend through it. Okay, so we can release this guy now, so we're going to go ahead and release this guy. Arho knows we're here. He's going to send reinforcements. I 
can hear what them coming down the hall. We have no armor, no weapons. You have to hold them off and give us a chance to escape. The pesca kukape ma watabo. Tenya nucha dubota. Okay, and now here they come. And here they all come. <laughs> this is what I remember. I think you get like three waves of enemies or something like that. Not too bad. It's not not too bad, but when they when don't when they all don't like come at you at the same time or in the same spot, you see? Now they're kinda of like now they're kinda of getting a little cute and going like trying to try to get they're getting closer outside of this thing, and I don't want to exit the base. This is what I remember happening to me. Like they started exiting the base or something. Alright, so we got we completed that. Good luck. Thank you. So we come back to him. So I think we can do this now. So we'll come back to here. Yep, there's the command post. We'll come back here now. Awesome. So now we come back here, and if you don't know about this, you can kind of come back and say, oh, you know, you're this war council room. You got the flashpoint, the false emperor. You got the battle of Ilum. So you got two flashpoints there. We probably won't touch those just yet. I'll get to them eventually. I kind of just want to get to the story over here is what I'm looking for. So let's see if we got this. I'm kind of ignoring the heroic for now because heroic is such a pain. <laughs> heroic is not easy. Um, because if you kick off, there's just too many gold NPCs in that heroic. That's why I'm kind of avoiding it. Okay, let's go ahead and. Welcome. Do you require medical attention? No, I do not. Thank you for asking, though. How nice of you to ask. Okay, I think my rampage boost is still Stay going safe too. Out there. So we're going to go here, go in here. Right, so we can go speak to Commander Rance. You made it back alive. Only because of you. I'm running out of ways to say thanks. We're on the same side, Commander. I know you'd have done the same for me. I know we'd try, but nobody else can do what you do. So do us all a favor and try not to get captured. Incoming call, Commander. Looks like it's your Imperial friend. Good to see you alive and well, Supreme Commander. With you back at the helm, Darth Arho's becoming desperate. He's ordering his ships to land on Ilum's surface to be equipped with prototype versions of the stealth technology. The battlefield's not secure. Ending ships here gives us a chance to take out his entire fleet. Only if you know where to find them. Aho knows someone in the Empire is working against him. He's keeping the location of the landing site secret. That is all I can tell you. I won't contact you again. Aho grows suspicious. Figures. As soon as there's any risk to himself, our ally leaves us out in the cold. He's a servant of the dark side. Self-preservation will always be his first priority. There's only a few spots on Ilum where a ship larger than a shuttle could even attempt to touch down. We just have to take out those landing strips. If we can disable the ships already on the ground, nobody else will be able to land. I came here to stop Darth Arho. Might as well let me finish the job. I'd send someone else if I could. But Karawar and Gian Dar are leading all available troops against key Imperial installations. I'll give you the location of the landing strips. Use these ion grenades against the ships already on the ground. Simple. So we have another one we can kick off here, but I think it's downstairs, right? Is that not downstairs? Yeah, so here's your stories. So here's your Battle of Ilums, Ilums, and things like that. So we're going to move on. We're going to continue on to where we should be going, okay? 
Uh, so we're going to come back and see exactly where we need to go. So you can see all these little areas over here. You kind of have two over there. So we can go to Republic Way Station if we need to. Well, actually, I can't fast travel there. But we do got to disable some ships, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And this does bring us back to the area we need to get to anyway. So we might as well continue on with that. There's like kind of two separate spots here. Why did I gain influence with Shay Vizsla? Oh, because I just finished my... Um, I'm, like, I'm like, I haven't used her for anything. And I just realized, oh, it's because I just finished my... Um, <laughs> my gathering mission. I'm like, I haven't used her for anything. I'm like, why am I just doing that now? Now this makes more sense. So we got a couple things here we can do. Now this might actually, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. This might actually have a have a bonus mission behind it too. Now it might have the bonus mission. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Yeah, see, I thought so. There's 15 of them here. All these pilots and whatnot. Okay, you see all these guys here? Wow, look at all these guys over here. This is going to be insane. Like, this is just going to be insane. I don't know how I'm going to get all these guys out like this. But just I'll keep at it. I got way too many. Oh my goodness, I am going to die soon right here. Yeah, I would say I, that was just too many. There was just too many in one area over there. I, I, that that wasn't cool. That was just yeah. You know what? That was my own stupidity. I should have stayed away from those guys. That's just too many in an area. There's one guy moving around. There's another guy. Another. There's one guy moving around. There's another guy that I can't even do anything with right now. I'm just gonna come back all the way down here if I can. And try not to trigger it off. Plus T7, I think, didn't help matters in this case. We're trying to avoid a lot of this. Alright, let's go over here. Because this will at least... Kind of make it a little bit easier, I guess. And I won't have to worry about, you know, getting a bunch of them. A bunch of aggro and a bunch of NPCs. There's your sentry. Uh, that sentry's just roaming around. He doesn't have much to him. You know what, that's probably a good thing. We can kick off the mission and take care of the sentry. Might as well. Yeah, yeah, you know what, that was just, yeah. I'm looking at that area, I'm thinking to myself, there's just way too much around here. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, we'll take care of this lieutenant as well. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got, he's being sneaky, he had a little pilot next to him, didn't he? <laughs> he was a bugger. Right, here, I know I can definitely, at least, I should have looted some of these guys, but that's okay. Here, I know I definitely could have done something. Now, the problem is, I don't know... Where is the thing? Where is the thing? Oh, it's up here. I don't think there's anything I need to do, or need to try to finish off. I don't think I need to go that way. I don't think that's the way I can go. I think the way it should be going is this way. So I'm going to see if I can... Follow through on that path a little bit. Okay, D7. That was a little weird. What in the heck? Oh, I forgot that these guys. Ah, I forgot that they kick off everything like that. Shoot. What well, bonus mission is done? I forgot that they sent NPCs out after you. After that. So we have another one we have to do as well. Let's grab this really quick though. 
I think we can avoid some of these uh, NPCs along the way. Can't be 100% certain, but we'll certainly try to avoid as many as possible. So I think what I can do is kind of come around here and you see this? I'm going to come around this way. I'm going to try to avoid them. I'm going to come around here. Perfect. Good. All right. I was able to avoid them. That's a positive. Now, I may not be able to avoid these guys. I don't know yet. I'm going to see if I can do that. Yeah, see, these guys will probably kick off on me. These little creepies. I don't mind these guys, though. Plus, I think you should take them out. Just to take them out. It is helpful for other people in the area, too. Trying to avoid as many, as much aggro as I can, but eventually you're not gonna be able to. So I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna take these guys out, just to take them, just to be a, into a good spot and make sure I clear a little bit of a, of a landing area for myself, a little bit of a of a path for myself to clear out. And you see all these. I probably should go up there and clear those out too, eventually. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do these two missions as well, because they're pretty simple missions. To do. I'm gonna defend the bomb, destroy the turrets, you know, things like that. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty simple missions. I don't anticipate there should be anything difficult on these. Okay, so you have a couple over here. Let's see if I can try to avoid as much as possible. So far, so good. Okay, we'll destroy these astromech droids and specialists and whatnot. Pilots and specialists, all that good stuff. Now, see, this did aggro some NPCs out here, so. Let's make sure we take those out. We'll probably get another NPC. Yeah, I thought he was come around. The sentries over there. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take out these uh, those things as well. Because I think it'll be good to do those missions as well. We're almost at the end. We're getting very close to the end over here, actually. Alright, so we're going to go do those other missions because I think it's only fair if we do those other missions. They're pretty simple to do. We just go, then we go back to the public way station. I don't think it takes you back anywhere. At least not into that area. So you might as well go ahead and do that mission. Since you're out here already. Oh no. Oh, no. I'm trying to avoid that. We're trying to avoid those guys. I should get better piloting speeding. Speeder stuff. So I should, I should look at that as well. We're going to come out this way, because that's the way we should be going. You know, we don't need to be going that way. Okay, you see those guys over there? I don't know. You know what? They're going to, they're going to cut me anyway. That's, oh boy. I'm going to have a major problem here now. Right, let's, let's give myself some. That was close. That was close. Alright. <laughs> That was pretty close. That, you know what? Thankfully, I got through that, though. We're going to go ahead and go through this. Not that I think it's only like... I think there's only like one more area you have to go through, and then you could kind of be set at that point. So we're going to look through here. We know there's... Defeat Imperial Forces and destroy the turrets are all around here. Um, we're not going to take those out, though. And we also got to def defeat uh, plant and defend the bombs as well. So we're going to take everything out here. So destroy the turrets, plant and defend the bombs, and defeat Imperial forces. So this is actually a fun spot over here. 
sometimes you get good like stuff over here. Like I would, I would probably claim one of those because that's a big crystal. So the good news is I'm now at. I don't know where I'm at, but I'm getting there pretty pretty far. Okay. Okay. Let's see how much more I can do with this. All right. So there, why are there no Imperial forces out here? That's quite interesting. Ah, there we go. There we go. I was wondering where we're from. Destroy turrets and Imperial forces. The turrets are actually easier. Plant and defend the bomb part and we just want that kind of defend a little bit, but they'll probably get it done. We'll get the bonus mission out of the way. These guys are too cool. These guys are too nice. Yeah. Cool. Fun time, right? Fun mission. Yeah, I think there's some turrets right over here. There you go. Turrets are easy. Can I claim that while it's going on or no? No, okay. It's actually not letting you claim I thought you used to be able to claim those things while you're fighting, but I guess you can't anymore. Alright, excellent. So here's a turret as well with the repair turrets. I don't know if the repair doors count as Imperial Forces, they do not. They do not count as Imperial Forces, so be very careful because you might not be able to finish up what you're trying to finish up. In fact, I don't want to finish up the mission before I finish up the mission, <laughs> before I finish up the bonus missions. That's there's a bomb thing over there on the side, so... You can kind of see, yeah, you have another one over here. You got an Imperial Hunter coming around here too. Sharp shooter, so I think you should be able to do that one mission quickly, bonus mission. Switch it up as well. Here comes the defense that we need to do. I think there's only like two waves on this. I don't remember exactly how it goes. But... Okay, so we can go, go return the captain Samrock there. Cool. And then here we just got some of the. Now we just got to go ahead and go back to destroy the turrets as well. So we'll go destroy the turrets because I got some repair turrets here. Which we'll take out. And then we should be good. We should be in a good spot. Here.
right, so we can go back there as well. We got two guys that can jump forward too. That's cool, right? That's a fun time. At least glad I got that. So we come back on that as well. Right. Okay. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Okay, so let's go return to these guys and get some of this stuff out of the way so I don't have to do them anymore. I've done as you wished. Sure. Sounds good to me. Grab this one too. This is the other guy I was thinking about up here, but I don't, I don't see that I can do anything with him right now, so. My pleasure. Just in time, we're discussing our final attack plans. The Imperial troops have fallen back inside the Jedi Temple. Darth Arho refuses to surrender. He knows it could take weeks before we break the Imperial defenses and reclaim the Temple. Fortunately, there is another way in. An underground escape tunnel built centuries ago. We need you to infiltrate the Temple through the escape tunnel while we engage the Imperials outside. The Imperials have had plenty of time to search the temple. I doubt that tunnel's still undefended. You're probably right. Our offensive will draw most of the defenders away. But I'm sure you'll still have plenty of imps to deal with. I know the temple well. If you clear the way, I can lead a team of Jedi to capture key strategic locations, like the armory. Without Master Bowden's Jedi, our troops will suffer greater casualties. But it might be worth it to get your hands on the armory equipment. I won't sacrifice lives just so I can get my hands on some Imperial weapons. Then we'll engage Darth Arho's Sith followers while the rest of the troops take on the Imperial soldiers. What about air support, Commander? The Sullustan pilots are itching for a chance to avenge Yet Jub. I share their pain, but the temple houses many irreplaceable artifacts that are unlikely to survive a series of airstrikes. It's your call. Your mission to infiltrate the temple will be a lot harder without air support. Those artifacts could turn out to be useful in our war against the Empire. We can't risk having them destroyed. You heard the Jedi, Bradbur. Keep the Sullustans grounded. Copy that, Supreme Commander. Here is the location of the escape tunnel into the Jedi Temple. Go there now. I'll send you updates on the progress of the battle. Good luck. Okay. So we do have another another little side mission we can do as well as we go along the way. So that's actually important. We don't have to do those other, other missions, so that's a neat thing. I'm happy for that. That was the guy I was thinking about. Cool. I didn't just like the last spot, last area, if I remember correctly. Yuta Ida, Ikatuka, La Jara Roda Mana Mana. Mipunawa, Twipitute Bak Batra, Wonga Wonga. Kiko Ubakili, Wata Bunga Dunko, Putoga Wata. Since they lost Corellia, the Empire needs every advantage it can get. Nucha Kichawa Jota Gekwanga Choska. Kokinoemo, Uba Chona Alipa Isadun Kuta. I consider it my duty. 
Jikila, un pasa dubiska, un pahupa, kapuna, maletuta ud mishka, kabanotesime. Okay, cool. You know, I haven't even looked to see what's new in the cartel market. I'm gonna look really quick. I want a contest and I just want to see if I, is anything that I kind of like. Yeah. What is a suppressor troop of armor sets? Not too bad. How many how many tokens do I have now, by the way? I got 1,200. Oh, so these are the new ones I've been talking about. Oh, look at that. The black on black metallic. And black, oh, metal, metallic black, and uh, uh, made black. Oh, those are new ones. And then you got, okay, that's new. Ancient star map, don't even care about that. So, okay. Oh, they're not too bad. These are the new ones. Not not too much, not too crazy about them, but not too bad. All right, so neat, kind of neat. That's the stuff that they kind of put in there if you want to look just to see what they really are. Um, I'm not going to look at them. I, I, just out of curiosity, if I were to do something. No, no, never. <laughs> I hate this chrome white metallic gold dye. I can't even see. I couldn't even, I couldn't even, like, view them. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I don't think. Nah, not a fan there. Not a fan of that. I don't think you can preview these, can you? Nah, you can't. You can't preview those. You can't even see what they look like. But that's okay. Not not really my cup of tea to begin with. Um, I know what I do want, so I'm kind of gonna kind of gonna leave it alone for now, though. So we have one more little area that I think we have to go to, and essentially we have these recover mark for prototype shields. So we got like. You know, all this stuff, basically, you have to come into that area, come down into there, the fair flights down into there, and then eventually you get into, you know, confronting Darth Arho, which isn't too bad. Uh, I think that's kind of simple to get through. We still got 55 minutes on that. So we're going to go ahead and do this as we go along the way. We're going to finish this up, and this will be the last part, I think, of Ilum, uh, before we even get into, like, the False Emperor stuff and stuff like that. Battle of Ilum, False Emperor, that's, those are the things that I would have to do next. I'm not going to do those flashpoints tonight just because each of them probably takes maybe about anywhere from a half hour to 40 minutes solo. Um, maybe I can get into that at some point later on. Uh, though I do want to finish this Ilum story, you know, the whole Ilum story, so maybe I will do that this weekend if I find the time. Though I'd like to do the uh, Inquisitor stuff first and finish off some of her stuff on Narshida, which is where I left off with her. And it would be nice to at least get through that. Now, She's leveling up, and I'd like to, I'd like to get her level up to, you know, close to 80 before the end of the month, because the end of the month, SWTOR is, in fact, going to be doing a, uh, a mission, sorry, mission, uh, double XP uh, thing. Uh, what I might do at that point is I might do, like, a SWTOR speed level, uh, <laughs> I'll call it speed level, speed level, uh, uh, stream at, because I'm thinking about potentially doing that and if I get double XP that would help out tremendously. Alright, so these are the things that we have to do here. These are pretty simple. This mission is pretty simple to get through. The only thing is you have to go around all the way out back out here. So you gotta go to the Jedi Temple over here. I'm not a fan of going all the way out there, but again, the good news is this thing's right here, so Right, that's a bonus. So you got four turrets there. Sometimes it just, sometimes it just kind of just, you know, re uh, so respawns really quickly. So you actually got, you actually got to fight through this as well and get these kind of prototype shields and things like that. Sometimes there's nothing there either, so sometimes they don't respawn that quick. But usually, if you get a pretty decent spawn, you can come through this and take them out. Cool, right?
don't get any prototype shields here, but we're not getting any other ones. This is what I remember about this mission, that it was a little bit of a pain because you never get the ones that you've always wanted. <laughs> so, so like, you keep fighting a lot of NPCs and try to get the ones you want, but you can never get them all the ones that you want. And you end up going back and forward a lot, uh, but that's okay. It's still a pretty big area you can still get through. You know, the turrets go down really quick here. See, sometimes, sometimes they don't do anything. What I will do here is I will at least destroy that. In case somebody comes down here and tries to you know, take it while doing it. Because that can happen. It definitely happens. And this is where I have to struggle. A little bit more because now... We still have a lot of these things left to take out. And we still have a lot of these shields and all these things we have to pick up, so we have a lot of things we can pick up. That's good. So we just got Mark, four, Mark three prototype shield to take out. Uh, we need to grab that one of those. We take a lot of these guys out and go along the way. Hopefully we get them along the way. There's so many NPCs here. This is where it's useful to become uh, a shadow because now you can kind of go through here. And <laughs> where sometimes, you, sometimes you actually want somebody to come through through this area. Now what can happen here? find one. I'm trying to find one along the way and I can't find it. That sucks. Eventually I'm gonna get one. It's gonna be like right here too. It won't be at the end. It'll be like right here when, when I don't need to. And then I'll be like, well I don't need to fight the rest of the guys. Why are these guys going to be so difficult to take out? I didn't think I'd have this more difficult of a time. Wow. I didn't think I was going to have a difficult time with these guys. I actually didn't think this was going to be that difficult. And here I am. It's difficult. Okay. One of these be it? So it could be this guy, this droid right here. Sometimes that happens, this droid right here. He drops something big. So that can happen as well. Now the problem is if I don't get anything that drops, then I might have to go backwards. Then <laughs> I have to go backwards. And the problem is that's when you have a problem because then you gotta start fighting these guys again. Oh, good goodness. Thank goodness that dropped. Okay. That's important to me. I'm very happy that that happened that way. Simple enough. The good news is this takes you through the area that you need to go through. This is, bas this is basically a daily, by the way. Uh, this whole, all those fishes that I just showed you, they're also dailies. Now, I will not be taking them through any kind of daily because I don't feel there needs to be a daily going on for me today. I'm already done with the Illum stuff. Now it would be nice though to get up close to that 200 whatever, um, 200k on my personal conquest, so I'm almost there I think. Let me see. 
let me see something. I just want to see where I am with my galactic season and see how I, where, how close I am to it. Yeah, you know, actually, you still got about 30k left to go. I didn't think that was going to be like that. Alright, that's okay. You know, it's it's legacy legacy wide, so when I do... So, we're going to probably eventually get to this, and we're probably going to get to um, this one with the Sith Inquisitor, because we're gonna, definitely going to be doing 15 missions this weekend on her. And when I get done through that, everyone will be like, oh, that's great. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, exactly. So I'm going to see if I can get up early on Saturday or Sunday and try to finish that off. I think that's the best thing we can do. I don't know why I went to Cola here, but I could have just went to the side. But that's okay. Just try to avoid as much as possible. Yeah, this end mission, the end mission is not too bad. Actually, when, when, you, when you're at the end of it, I kind of respect it a little bit more. Kind of hoping like next week's like oh do Corellia missions because if next week's do Corellia missions that can at least take you through Black Hole and not have a problem with that, which would be actually fantastic. If I could do that. Let's see. See that treasure chest? Now that may have something decent in it, but I don't necessarily know if I want to grab it or not. Sometimes you get something good, but it'll be it'll be for like level 50s or anything else. So I'll leave it alone. So you get better rewards. You get better rewards than uh, you know from your missions than you do from, uh, now than the security chest. Because you usually the security chest don't have anything crazy in them. No, no, I am tempted to go get it. Should I just go get it? Ah, screw it. <laughs> ah, screw it. I just go get it. Ah, screw it. It might as well do something. Okay. Yeah, I you know I wasn't sure. I was thinking to myself, this is about the two hour mark now. So I did say it might be about two, two and a half hours on Ilum, just for the story alone, and that does make sense to me. And that's without the flashpoints, so I think that's fair. some good stuff. I guess you get some good stuff. Well, that's kind of neat. Damage armor, though. It's still neat, though. Okay. So we are getting very close to that temple. <sighs> got, more, got more NPCs we gotta take out. Finally, at the end of this. Good grief. This, is such, this was such a pain. Now, I think there's a bonus mission in here. If I'm not mistaken. So, I might as well go through this. Yep, 15. So, you might as well just go through it and finish off the bonus mission. Because there's no sense in not finishing it. I think this is not an easy, uh. Easy. An easy boss to take out. Or it might be easy, but you gotta be very cautious on how you do it. Surprise only killed off one NPC and not a bunch of them. We 
we are going to I'm gonna focus on this side of this guy first. Just because I don't wanna have to worry about it too much. Alright. Now the infiltrator comes after me? <laughs> I'm like, why did he come after me before? What's going on here? Now he comes after me. Alright, well, whatever. You know, maybe it's a good thing I got rid of him over here. I got a feeling I have to go into there eventually. They seem to recall that this guy either pulls down the stairs somehow or something like that. Well, we know this guy's probably gonna come out. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't anticipate that. Okay. Stairs over. Oh, was, oh, jeez, forget it. That was not gonna happen, was it? Uh, but you know what? That was just my own stupidity. I, I just kind of went forward without realizing somebody was gonna come down the stairs. One second, because I need to look at something really quick.
Imperials are in full retreat. Republic troops are storming the temple. We have to find Darth Arho before he escapes. Find him before he escapes. He ain't going anywhere. <laughs> he, he ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry about that. He ain't going anywhere. The only thing I might have a problem with is that I don't remember how this goes. I think that there's like some sort of like... Yeah, I think there's some sort of weird spawn that happened with Darth Arho. The problem is now I've wasted a lot of like... Let me see if I can do something. Hold on one second. I want to do something really quick on my legacy. So I'm going to look at my legacy really quick. I have a feeling I need a repair droid or something. And that probably would make sense. Do we even have a repair droid? Field re I do have a field repair droid, so that's an ability. Okay, let's do that. Let's grab that field repair droid. It should be under legacy, I think. Okay, mail droid. Uh, yep. That's what I should be doing. Let's repair myself just to make sure we can do that. Uh huh. So that's a good thing. Just to be just to be on the safe side, you know, just in case he becomes a challenge of any sort, we can deploy that droid and leave it there. Okay. So here he is. Speak to Darth Arho. Gotta have his little Sith battle masters there. I think they come after you as well. I should have known they'd send a Jedi to retake the temple. You may have won the battle for Ilum, but the war is far from over. Even if you defeat the Empire a thousand times, we will always rise again. You keep rising up. I'm just gonna keep smacking you down. And you must not leave Ilum alive. Awesome. One piece of that. Your death will be an inspiration to all who serve the Empire. Alright, so we have. Oh, what in the heck? Dude. Oh. So we. Ah, oh, okay. So he kills his own guys. That's actually important. I think that's important that he kills those guys. What he's doing is he's trying to he's trying to gain health from his own dudes. You see what he does there? So that's kind of important as well. I think that's kind of just an easy easy spot. I don't think that's I don't have much to it. Now he has nothing to drain, so but you can get kind of interrupt the sacrifice. We have nothing to sacrifice out of. Except for you. He might be able to drain from you. So as soon as he's done another sacrifice, you can go ahead and do that. You can interrupt him when he does a sacrifice. Now that is a problem. You see what he just did there? That is a problem, and you cannot... Uh-huh. And you see what happens? Now you got low health. Now you have to be careful. Now the Jedi Seers come and help you as well. You can't do much here with this. So now you got Darth Arho again. And you should be... You should be able to take him out. At this point. I don't remember if he does it once or twice a year, but I remember he gets pretty nasty on this fight. The field of character is kind of like, kind of doing a little follow. -up. Oh, here's a terrifying swarm. That's one that I'm worried about. That's okay, he's not doing much damage to me, so I should be able to take him out with some this. There you go. And Darth Arho is done. So we are done with Darth Arho. We can come back now to the Supreme Commander all the way down here. That's where we're going to go. Cool, right? I mean, that's pretty much your Ilum story. We are going to go ahead and return to this guy, because that's the one guy I need to return to anyway. So we'll do a mission thing here. Deliver the shields, cool. And then what we can do here is we'll go ahead and open this up, though it's not going to give me anything that I can use, so it'll be kind of a pointless, uh, <laughs> kind of a pointless thing here. We still kind of need to have anyway. Let's sell some stuff to, oh, we can't use this guy? Social items vendor? Interesting.
We'll have you fit and fighting again. We got some repairs there as well. Stay safe out there. We'll go ahead and finish off the story here. Victory is ours. All Imperials on Ilum have surrendered. But success was costly. The names of all who gave their lives on Ilum will never be forgotten. I know as a Jedi you expect no reward, but I want to give you something for your efforts to save the artifacts inside the Jedi Temple. Kalam Jemrani Naya. Nemkiri. Picked up a transmission from Darth Malgus. He wanted Darth Arho out of the picture, and we delivered. Uh. I would be shocked if he wants to offer us some kind of a reward. Uh, not even close. You better take a listen. I intercepted this message as it was being broadcast across all standard Imperial communications channels. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire. Too long, the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith, and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. I suspected he'd betray us, but this is something else. The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Serovin in supporting me, cast aside your titles and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. He had us eliminate his strongest rival so he could seize power for himself. I know I've asked too much of you already. We have to take Darth Malgus out. And soon. I defeated the Emperor. His new whale let some wannabe take his place. Don't underestimate him. He wouldn't have made this power play if he didn't have the strength to back it up. I must confer with our top military minds. Equip yourself for battle, then hurry to join our meeting. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. Okay. Fate of the galaxy is at stake. Okay. So we can go talk to this C2, whatever guy this is, right? Uh, though I think that brings Ilm under siege. So this is really kind of what we're doing still, but kind of not. We're going to go just talk to him anyway, because there's not much else to do. I think it just makes sense. And you'll see that it'll just kind of take you to where you need to go next for your flashpoint. We will not be doing the flashpoints there here today, though. I think the flashpoints... Oh, good grief. I think the flashpoints will be too much. Well, after, once once I kick off the mission for the flashpoint, I'll go back to the fleet. And like I said, I might revisit the two flashpoints this weekend, just to finish them up, just to finish up Ilum, but not tonight, because otherwise it'll be like two, three o'clock in the morning on a Thursday when I gotta go to work the next day, <laughs> and I don't want to get through that. Oh, see, this is a flashpoint. Okay, so this is the flashpoint anyway. So don't do this right now. Um, I think that is so. Yeah. This is Battle for Ilum, False Emperor, Battle for Ilum. Okay, so we can actually talk to this guy and have him prepare us a little bit. I think you get to the war room at this point. So I'm going to leave this alone for now. Uh, before I do this, we're going to start the Battle of Ilum at some point. Uh, maybe this weekend, just to finish it off and do the Battle, battle of Ilum and the uh, and the False Emperor. I like the Battle of Ilum. It's a very easy flashpoint to get through. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to go back to the fleet because at this point, I don't think we have to go back to Ilum for now. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to go through this and you know have to have to do an hour-long flashpoint that'd be one o'clock in the morning and take another hour-long flashpoint. I should think False Emperor is a little bit shorter, but take another short one and then make that shorter and say, oh yeah, you know now I'm screwed myself up. Uh, so hopefully that that should take care of most of it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do? We're going to sell some stuff over here. I'm going to see if I can do anything else you here as well. Uh, sometimes you, sometimes you get little little areas or little spots that you got to do things at. So I want to go ahead and just you know, put things in here. 
you know, we can put that red one in here. Oh, red and red's gonna be good. Oh, that's good. I gotta go. I got a lot of red thing. I got a lot of red in the purple and the yellows. So I'll be able to at least color my guys a little bit better. Though I kind of kind of wish it'd be a little bit different color, but that's okay. Alright, uh, let me see. What are my who's my closest right now to leveling to a next level? So Shay Mizzle is kinda close. We're gonna go get her a Let me see, will she, will she accept the luxury one? No. She'll accept that one though. We'll Alright, awesome. That's what I was hoping to do. Alright, cool. That's what I was hoping to do. Alright, sweet. So, I am done here for now. Uh, we'll revisit Illa maybe potentially this weekend. Thank you for everyone that has joined and watched. I appreciate it. And if you do like these videos, make a comment. Leave any comments for any suggestions or questions you have. Uh, feel free to, you know, follow me to give me some love and, you know, to follow, to follow me to know when I go live or when I upload a video and give me some love with the likes as well so hit that like button as well and until the next one may the force be with you and I'll see you guys then peace out all later